So in this first episode of Real to Real, we are going to convert this real project into a real project. Let's have a look. So here we can see that one guy is controlling the smartphone of the other person via a tiny little device. He can scroll up and down and even double click to like the video and much more. Seems a really fun project to make. So let's first understand how this project is working. So here we need something that can control our phone without even touching it. So I remember once I used to connect the OTG cable with the smartphone and attach a wireless mouse with it, I was able to control that complete phone using that mouse wirelessly. And similarly, we can attach a wireless keyboard as well. So that was the useful trick to increase the productivity using our smartphone. And in that video as well, it is controlling that mobile phone wirelessly. But unfortunately, there is no OTG cable attached with it. But nowadays, we do have wireless mouse and keyboard that connects with our smartphone or computer via Bluetooth connectivity. So one thing is clear, we need a Bluetooth mouse or keyboard to send the signal to our smartphone. But in the video, we can clearly see that there is a tiny little device other than a mouse or keyboard. So what I thought is, why not to go for ESP32 which has Bluetooth in it and make it act like a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard. So I started my research on internet regarding similar topics and guess what? I actually found one Arduino library that can make our ESP32 board act like a Bluetooth mouse. Amazing! So what I did here is I first downloaded this library in my computer and after that I opened up the Arduino IDE and here after going to sketch into include library into add zip library I'm, I went to the downloads folder and I quickly installed this library. So after installing I went to file into examples then straight down here into ESP32 BLE mouse. There are three of the example codes already provided. So I went for the last one which is scroll down example which is probably to scroll down the page. Okay. So here's the delay of 2000 provided. Let's just make the delay of 200 millisecond to make that scrolling faster. That's it. Now what I'll do is I'll select the right board and right COM port and I will directly hit the upload button and I'll upload this code into my ESP32 day model and first we'll be testing the code here okay in the meantime I'll turn on the screen recording of my smartphone as well to show you if this actually works or not and the code is successfully uploaded if I open the serial monitor it says starting BLE works so BLE is started here so what I'll do in my smartphone is I'll go to settings and I'll go to the Bluetooth side and here is the ESP32 Bluetooth mouse appeared I'll quickly connect to it and yeah, it says to pair, I'll click on the pair button. Okay, so the device is connected and this is also trying to scroll the screen. So if I move back and scroll a little bit upward, as you can see, this, this ESP32 board is actually trying to scroll the page down. So this is perfectly working on my iPhone. Now, uh, it may not work on your iPhone side in case you haven't turned on one setting. So for that, what you need to do is you need to go to the accessibility option, into the touch option, into the assistive touch option. Here you need to go to devices and here in Inside the Bluetooth devices, you must be able to see this uh, uh, ESP32 board. Uh, it, 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 it must be connected here inside the Bluetooth devices. Then, on, then only it will work. Okay, as you can see, it is uh, scrolling this uh, phone without even touching it. So with this, we have successfully confirmed that the ESP32 board is a perfect board to control our phone wirelessly. Now let's just design the whole structure, like how to make an actual tiny portable device for you know controlling the phone wirelessly. First of all, for making this project, I'll be using this ESP32 Shao C3 board just because it has built-in Bluetooth, it has built-in battery charging circuit and it has built-in programming circuit as well and it is really very small in size as compared to the regular ESP32 board. Then we'll need a couple of push buttons to send the commands to our mobile phone or laptop. Then we'll also need a battery because hey come on it's a portable device so we need a battery. Then we'll be having an on-off switch to power on and off the board and then we'll be going for a 3D printed, uh, printed design to make it look a little bit neat and compact okay so what i'll do now is i'll gather all these components until then you enjoy this informational ad this video is sponsored by ltm and they came up with an amazing product called as ltm 365 so ltm 365 is an electronics product design platform that unites pcb design mcad data management and teamwork so with ltm 365 you can do the pcb designing task you can share your projects over web for review purposes. It do cover sharing your PCB file to mechanical team so that they can create the mechanical product package based on your PCB. Then it also provides centralized cloud storage so you don't need to rely on one single computer for your files. It also helps you with managing your components and get real-time supply chain data for your components. 
It also allows multiple people to work on single project. And in the end, it also helps you with sending your design to final manufacturing units. So LTM 365 takes care of all other tasks so you put more time and effort in making something creative and useful. And the good part is you can try out its free version as well. I'll leave its free trial version link down in the description of this video so do check that out. And now let us start with this video. So here are all the components required for this project and to make it compact I designed a custom PCB for it in which I used 5 push buttons whose task we can assign in the code and also I have attached an RGB LED to show the status of of Bluetooth connectivity. After verifying the PCB, I just gave its order directly to JLC PCB. Now I mean, you can try out JLC PCB for your custom PCB design based order. The process is pretty simple. You just need to upload the Gerber file of your PCB project, select the number of PCBs and color masking and just pay for your order. Now here if you select the fastest shipping option, you may get the PCBs delivered at your doorstep within a week. So here are the PCBs delivered to me and the PCB quality is really amazing. So do try out JLC PCB for your next PCB based orders and not only that, JLC PCB also provides the 3D printing service and PCB SMT assembly services as well. Okay, so I'll be leaving away the links of all those services down in the description of this video so do check them out. So after receiving the PCBs, we started shouldering all the components on it and after shouldering all the components, the final PCB project looks like this. Neat and compact. Now this time we decided to go for a 3D printed case for this project. So one of our intern, Dairya Patel, designed a basic yet quite handy case for it. So now till the 3D prints get delivered at our studio, let's just go on to computer and write a complete code for our project. Okay, so here is the code for our BLE mouse and it's pretty simple and straightforward. So we are using the same BLE mouse library that we have seen in the demo in this video. After that, I have declared the three pins as RGB for LED, then five pins for uh, taking the input from the button. After that, we have declaring uh, the uh, LEDs as the output and the button as the input. After that, we are beginning the BLE mouse, pretty common. Now here inside the void loop, we have two different conditions. Either the BLE mouse is connected with any of, uh, any of our smartphone or else it is not connected. In case it is not connected, I'm calling the not connected function which is nothing but it is just blinking the red led at an interval of 500 millisecond okay so constant red led blinking uh, state means that the device is not at all connected with any smartphone or any device uh, any bluetooth device you can say okay now in case it is connected what it will do is it will just turn on the green light for three seconds which indicates that it got successfully connected and after that it will turn off the green light and it will call the function called as mouse connected and the mouse connected function has all the uh, functions or parameters to be performed Formed, okay so first of all uh, i have defined like five buttons as up down left right and center button so if i press the up button that is the u button what it will do is it will just call the function ble dot mouse sorry ble mouse dot move zero cross zero cross one now here zero cross zero is nothing but the x and the y axis of the cursor and one is nothing but uh, the wheel position so we are making the wheel position to go one step up okay and we will be constantly calling this function so it will be slowly 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 scroll scrolling that particular screen which is nothing but the scrolling up it will be printed in the serial monitor okay and here we have provided the scroll delay to make our scrolling as smooth as possible okay so it depends upon like if you are using uh, uh, if you want to make it scroll faster you need to decrease the delay or if you want to scroll slower you can increase the delay according to your choice similarly a down button for scrolling down now here is the center button to you know double tap on the video to like it or tap on the video wants to you know pause it and uh, stuff like that and similarly we are reading the left button status which will ultimately do the mouse left click and right button status which will ultimately click the mouse right key and this is how we are reading the button and we are sending the data via bluetooth to our bluetooth device that's a simple code we have uh, made and here inside code after pressing each button we are calling the button pressed function which is nothing but we are just turning the blue light on and after uh, uh, the button press function or the command is performed we are turning off the blue light so this will help us to visualize whether the data is being sent or not so that's a simple code now what i will do is i will just select the right board which is shao esp3 to c3 right com port on which my uh, shao c3 board is connected with and i have straight away hit the upload button and that was all about the coding part so the code is successfully uploaded on this board and also the 3d print design arrived at our studio so let's just quickly assemble everything so after assembling everything, here is the final look of our project. Looks really compact, isn't it? Now let's power up the device. Here, as you can see, the red LED is blinking, which reveals that the Bluetooth device is not yet connected with it. 
So here, I'll connect my smartphone with it. And once it's get connected, the green LED on board turns on for 3 seconds, which reveals that the device is successfully connected via Bluetooth. Now let us try to control our phone. Okay, so I'm able to scroll up and down and even able to like the video wirelessly with this tiny device. And we can also charge the built-in battery via this Type-C cable and the charging is indicated by this small red LED at the bottom. Once the battery is fully charged, this red LED will turn off. And in case if you connect the Type-C cable and the LED is flickering, you just need to toggle the on-off switch and now as you can see, the red LED is stable so the battery is now charging. Well, that was the real project we made from watching an Instagram reel. And as we have made on our own, we can customize its applications as well. Like we can even program it to work like a slide changer, which will be really very helpful while giving presentations. Also, we can program this board to control our Blink IoT based appliances to make our own smart home remote. And there can be many more such applications. So do you want to try that device out? Well then we are selling this complete project through our website whose link is down in the description of this video. So in that you'll be getting all the components already shouldered on the PCB. Along with that this product will be coming pre-programmed with the BLE mouse example code in it so it will be ready to use. And not only that you can definitely experiment with this uh, project by you know uploading different different example codes. I'll be providing a couple of example codes with you so that you can take the reference of that code and make your own code based upon your application. So go ahead click the link in the description and purchase it right now because the prices may increase later on. <laughs> you never know. So that was all about the first episode of Reel to Reel series in which we try to replicate the interesting and unique projects shown in our Instagram Reels or YouTube Shorts. So now onwards, if you ever came across this kind of IoT electronic projects or products, well, do tag us on Instagram which goes by the name Techie SMS and me and my team will try to reverse engineer that and if possible, we will definitely make a project tutorial out of this and upload it as a part of this Reel to Reel series. So that was it about this video. Do share your genuine reactions or reviews about this new series this new concept down in the comments of the video and yeah that being said i'm just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video in the explore learn share with me techie sms